beyond that, you need good racecraft and you need good consistency. And a little bit of luck too, I'd say. This is one of those circuits where the safety car always seems to come out just at the right time to condense the field together and mix up the cars on different strategies. It's hard on brakes, it's tough on fuel, and the main overtaking opportunity is down into turn one, where it's easy to outbreak your opponent and potentially have a bit of argy-bargy as well. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Raikkonen, Max Verstappen and Perez, a Sauber, Ricardo, Ocon, and Nico Hülkenberg, Grosjean, Massa, Kevin Magnussen, and Palmer, Stroll, Sainz, Stoffel van Dorn, and Fernando Alonso, Kvyat, and Pascal Wehrlein completes the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. good on the power unit cycle, so let's concentrate on bringing tyres and brakes up to temperature.
<clears throat> so after a day of mixed fortunes up and down the field, we bring today's race to a close. <laughs> Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. So, here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari on the top step once more.